Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which we will take a closer look at the D2D mode of your GS911 Wi-Fi. To understand D2D mode, we start off by looking at infrastructure mode. The GS911 Wi-Fi was designed to be used in infrastructure mode. Infrastructure mode is simply where a wireless access point, typically the Wi-Fi router of your home, garage or workshop, provides a wireless Wi-Fi network to which other devices can connect. Your router provides a connection to the internet and thus any GS911 device connected to such a network has access to the Hex cloud. However, what do we do when we are not in range of an accessible Wi-Fi network or we are out in the stick somewhere? At the bottom of your GS911 Wi-Fi, you will find the Wi-Fi mode switch button, and this toggles your device between infrastructure and D2D mode. D2D mode, otherwise known as device-to-device -device mode, turns your GS911 Wi-Fi into a soft access point. That means you can connect directly to it via Wi-Fi with your browsing device, which is usually anything with a browser and Wi-Fi capability. Use your browsing device to connect to a network starting with GS911. Now, using your Android or iOS launcher app, open a browser window to your GS911 Wi-Fi. If you do not have a compatible device and you cannot install and run our launcher app, simply open a browser window and enter 10.0.0.1 into the address bar. This way you can browse directly to your GS911 Wi-Fi. This is handy if you have a non-Android or non-iOS smartphone. In D2D mode, your GS911 Wi-Fi device is a little access point of its own, and hence neither it nor any device that connects to it has any internet access. When you're out in the middle of nowhere and you only have your phone and a GS911 device, in D2D mode, you still have access to the GS911 Wi-Fi's emergency functionality, which will allow you to read ECU information, read and clear fault codes on all control units, as well as view and log real-time sensor values for all engine control units. You can also use the auto-scan function in D2D mode, which will give you a readout of all fault codes within seconds. Okay, and what we have here is a GS911 Wi-Fi. And what I'm doing now is switching it over to D2D mode. There you can see the green light goes on. Now the next thing to do is go to the Wi-Fi section of your phone and connect to the GS911's own network. There you'll see a network starting with GS911. Connect to that. And once you are sure that you have connected properly to this network, you go to our launcher app and use it to open a browser window to the GS911 interface. Let's start by performing a basic auto scan, which will list all the fault codes and ECU information available from your bike. Doing an auto scan is a great place to start your diagnosis. Let's see what's available via a basic auto scan. The little warning that pops up is uh, simply a warning that you are in D2D mode and not connected to the internet. I'm just quickly scrolling through these for a complete functionality list. See our function chart on hexcode.co.za. The second thing I'd like to show you is how to find the real-time sensor values for your motorcycle. We start at home, select the series of your motorcycle and then the engine model type. First select Engine Controller, then Real-Time Values. Select Toggle All Selection, then hit the button that says Display Values. And here you'll find a complete list of all the real-time sensor values available from your motorcycle. For all other service functionality, you require the GS911 Wi-Fi to be in infrastructure mode, so it can access the Hex Cloud over an internet connection. Alternatively, you can use your GS911 Wi-Fi in combination with the latest Windows PC software to have access to the full range of service functionality. Remember, we did design the GS911 to be used in infrastructure mode, but that certainly does not stop you from using either a USB cable or using it in D2D mode 
when you want this kind of full service functionality via your Windows PC software. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.